and I practicing at home, especially on my ex-girlfriend. And uh, thanks for that because the tattoos she have now are not looking so good. <laughs> Hey, I'm Felix Seele, um, aka Young Harder Tattoo. I'm the owner of Der Grimm in Berlin, and I hope you guys enjoyed my artist portrait with Cheyenne. I started tattooing pretty late, to be honest. I started uh, 2013 in my hometown. Um, I was asking the guy who tattooed my arm if he can give me like a starter kit, like some machines. And I was uh, start practicing on my leg. It doesn't work so good. <laughs> I was searching for a bunch of studios that take an apprenticeship or whatever, but nobody really wants that. And then I was like, okay, then I do it by myself. And then I found a studio in Tattoo Wir Magazine, I think, that they were searching for tattooers in my hometown. Um, and I was asking them if they have space and blah, blah. And then they were saying, yeah, you know, it's like pretty rough what you're doing. You're pretty fresh in the suit, but we can, we can try. And it was the day after I go to the university and quit. And then I jump into it. That's, that's it, yeah. To be honest, I never wanted to have a tattoo studio. It was just, we said, okay, we wanted to stay together. And then I was like, okay, then I take the responsibility about the papers because I know how tattooers are with their paperwork. And then it grows like, and then here we are. After one year, we had a bunch of people coming around and asked me like, yeah, is there any possibility that I can work here as a resident? And I was feeling like, yeah, I would like to keep you all, you know, because I um, like to give people a chance if they deserve it. We wanted to create something different, but in the end for me it feels not different because I don't compare it to other studios. It's just like my vision of a tattoo studio and I want to feel like cozy, I want to feel home. Like if everybody feels more welcome, if everybody feels like you can be yourself, it's easier to grow as a person, as an artist. For me it's about like being an artist, it's like making yeah, no excuses for yourself, just experiences, you know, don't regret so much, don't worry so much, just, you know, try it again, do something new, playing around, you know, like, try to do. I was always, like, having the biggest uh, trust in myself, and I was, like, when somebody tell me you can't do this or you can't do that, I don't really care about this, because I'm thinking, like, who are you to tell me that? Uh, Berlin is definitely my favorite city. Like, the first time I ever been here was with history class. And I was like, oh, fuck, it's so big and so fast and so heavy and blah, blah. And because I'm growing up in a village with 300 people and it was for me like, oh my God, this is, this is a city, you know? I had never seen a city with so much art, with so much people interested in it. You always can do something in everything. It's not just about party and taking drugs and going to Bergheim and this techno shit. It's about everything, you know, meeting people that are interested in collaborating, that are interested in art. That It's like a more free, free living, free minded. My favorite customer comes in and said, hey, Felix, I would like to have a sleeve. These three pictures of your stuff is something that I like, that I have in mind. And I'm checking out the arm and say, okay, then come with me, I draw something on and then let's go. And for me, it's very important that the customers come just with a rough idea connected to my stuff and let, they give me the freedom that I need. I started when I, when I got into tattooing with Asian stuff and I think like people who have an eye for that see a lot of Asian movement, a lot of body flow from Asian stuff. Um, then I got a little bit more into traditional stuff. Then I did a little bit more neo-traditional. In, in my second studio, I did a lot of mandalas because nobody wants to do that. And I was like, okay, that's easy. So, and I have always work. I get influenced by a present paper at the art store for this Venom stuff. And now I combine them all always together and mix it again also with calligraphy because I love it. Uh, like my, the biggest point that I would like to give some to some new tattooers or new generation of tattooers or starters or whatever is if you not do something like 100% and keep it real, it's 
it would not make you satisfied or you will always be complaining about this and that. So if you do it, it's not a choice in a job. It's like a way of life It's for me. And if you have the, the power to, to do that, the trust in yourself, then you can be a good tattooer. If not, then just do something else.